now we are ready to square up. So I'm going to show you how to square up um, this. The way that I'm going to square this up is the same way we would square up just about every single one of the um, half rectangle triangles that can be made with the hurdy one with the exception of the six by 12. And I'm going to show you how to square that one up separately. Um, there's also a little trick for cutting out the six by 12. So I'm going to show you that um, just after I finish um, showing you how to square this one up. So this applies to all of the sizes of the HRT with the exception of the six by 12, which is the biggest you can do with the hurting one. Okay, so we're going to take that um, sewn and pressed HRT unit before it's squared up and we're going to start with A. Now, this is where um, one of those things you have to remember. When we are squaring up the half rectangle triangle, we're now, instead of looking at A start, B start, that's for cutting, we're looking at side A and side B. So if you can read side A, it's on the right side. You'll also see that the diagonals are in the same orientation as the diagonal of the block that you're, or the unit that you're, that you're squaring up. I often will turn it this way towards me or rotate it um, so that it's in a comfortable space so you can cut. If I were left-handed, I probably would start cutting it in this orientation. But as a right-handed quilter, I will rotate it this way so I can cut here and across. We all know about rotary cutter safety, right? So long as we're not cutting towards body parts, that means ours or anybody else's, then it's generally get rotary cutter safety. Okay, so now what I'm doing right now for lining up, I know this is a four by eight inch unit, which means it gives us about a quarter inch all the way around the half rectangle triangle to square it up. We weren't super careful about sewing these, so it's not perfectly lined up at the ends and everything. So what we want to do is we want to line up this corner on the fabric. We're aligning the black seam line along our seam line. Then we want to look at the other corner of the half rectangle triangle that we are um, trimming down to, and that's the four by eight. So we want to make sure that four by eight corner is also on the opposite edge of the fabric. So you may have to slide that ruler along that seam line just to make sure that we have room to trim on this side and room to trim on that side. A little bit of pressure just to hold it in place and I'm trimming the first two sides here. Remember this is where we get our precision. So if we're precise in this step then when we sew these HRTs together then our points are going to connect in our corners. Then we're going to rotate that and a rotating cutting mat is not a bad idea with this but I often do it on my standard mat as well. So now I'm aligning that seam line up aligning the corner we just cut with that four by eight corner. You see that little corner mark here, just like that, making sure that seam line is lined up nice and perfectly along the seam line of the, of the unit. Then we're gonna cut across the top and the side. Look at it, it's gorgeous. I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do B. It's essentially the same thing, just in reverse. So this is our B unit before it's trimmed down, and we're gonna flip it to side B of the hurdy. Now we're gonna place that hurdy so that the seam line is on our seam line of the block. The top corner needs to rest on the fabric, and we need to be able to see that four by eight corner square right there that needs to also be on the fabric for the first cut as well just like that we're going to cut here and here now we're going to rotate that unit align the corner that we the two edges that we just trimmed Make sure that corner is aligned with that four by eight corner mark on the ruler. And double check that that seam line is aligned perfectly with the seam. 
just like that. Perfect. And now we're going to cut on these two edges. Now, we know from making half square triangles that this is the most tedious part, but this is where you get that beautiful precision that is just difficult to get elsewhere. And um, so we take the time to do it. You cannot stack. You have to do these one at a time. But it's so worth it to get those beautiful half rectangle triangles that when you sew them together, they just really, really fit nicely together. And that is how to use the hurdy one.